Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection. Technology gain times four, five, and seven. Didn't want to say too much about this, but had a conversation with a nice gentleman. I'm not going to say too much about which company it is and what company we're going to be dealing with, but they specialize in outdoor screens. So when we show them a demonstration of our black screens, pulling up an image outside on 1100 lumens, of course, could think about it. Majority of most projectors outside are between five, eight, and ten thousand, maybe fifty thousand. We're doing this at eleven hundred lumens. It sparked a lot of interest in our technology. So uh, we're going to be working on a few projects very soon, and this is a good blessing for our company. So uh, just to show you exactly um, what you're missing from your screen and I keep saying that black screens are the best and it is because when you're dealing with a white screen or a gray screen they do not have the ability to pick up contrast it doesn't make a difference uh, lights on lights off a gray screen will never ever or a white screen will never have the ability to pick up contrast because it is gray it has no form of uh, black technology or even the ability to be able to pick up um, contrast at all and I'm going to show you I'm going to be doing some demonstrations on just dark contrast only also too I'm going to be showing you over here the projector I'm going to be using is a 720p 3700 lumen projector plenty enough lumens just to show you exactly that no matter what you're just not going to get contrast it's just just the bottom line all right so let's start our demonstration first got a few videos here lined up and hold on I gotta go back if I have the wrong one and let's begin so I think what we're going to start doing is we're going to start branching out the companies. Now the screen you're seeing right here is bare silver screen. That is just white um, paint. Keep in mind that is to simulate a white screen. Now I don't care if a white screen has a one point gain or a zero point gain. It's basically a white wall. And keep in mind, our technology has the ability to produce very, very high white levels. Which means the color pops better. More detail is added, more color, as I said before. The screen is not washed out. And as you look at the environment, the environment is very, very bright. We don't use dim or dark environments. And this is what I mean by contrast is everything. It is everything. Now, if the weather is doing well tomorrow, I got a meeting coming up tomorrow also too, so I have to get ready for the meeting. But also too, if the weather is well, we will be taking this screen outside and doing the exact same demonstration. Not these demonstrations, but different demonstrations. Just to show you exactly the advancement of our Supreme 7 over a gray screen or white screen. 
This is a wake up call for those of you that are still using white screens for your business and for your home, what you are getting, what you're actually getting from your projector. Now keep in mind, my projector has a 600 to 1 contrast. That's it. So I don't need to have 10,000 to 1, 20,000 to 1 when it comes to contrast because the screen is black. and can produce high colors at the same time. Best of both worlds. See how deep the blues are? See how they pop in the black technology? Look at the gray, look at the white. See this background is supposed to be black. Two screens can't pick up black. And I don't care what kind of gray it is. It could be a dark gray, a light gray, whatever it may be, it doesn't make a difference. They cannot pick up black contrast. Not like a black screen. Let me show you this demonstration. Let me show you right here.
something else really quick. Oh, yes, I'm going to show you the epic star feel. See how tan that screen looks? That's a washed out black. That's definitely not showing up. Now we'll come over here. So I've seen a demonstration where somebody turned on their lights on a, on a screen, calling themselves showing up a star field, and the color came up tan. When the color comes up tan, that just shows you that, I'm taking all my lights out here, that just shows you that the screen is not producing contrast. It's producing an ashy gray. Anything. Now you see it? All the lights are out. We're in the dark. As I said before, a gray screen, white screen, they do not pick up contrast. This is what you're actually getting from a gray screen. I've done this over and over and over again. That's what you're getting. You're not getting black you're getting gray. Now if my screen wasn't there in the process you would think you would be getting black. All I would have to do is turn on one light. That's it. Turn my light on the wrong way. That's it. One light in the environment. I'm not talking about dim light because there's no dim light in this environment and that's what you're going to get. See the shoe? With the bike. Now it's one little light. And that screen's automatically gone. It washes out. And there's the gray screen right there. Lights out. All right, from my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology game times four, five, and seven. Our sale is growing strong. I'd like to thank you all for the support. This is why you have to be in the dark when it comes to your screens because any form of contrast in the environment and that screen, see how the white screen, too much oversaturated of a white level right there. Go back to that star field just to show you. Let 
you can get a good idea what you're actually getting when your lights are out. That's why screens don't have contrast. There's no contrast in that screen paint. Now that's a bare silver screen right there. Don't take much to wash it out. If you look at the lighting we have in our environment, it's nice and bright in here. It's actually brighter than the most demonstrations I've seen. It's not supposed to be tan, it's supposed to be black. All right, I gotta get tomorrow morning. I got this meeting to go to. Very, very excited about, very happy about what's going on with our company. I'd like to thank you all for your time. I gotta go and guys.